Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be giving my opinions on the starting what West Brom should start against Southampton. Obviously, as you know, you may have saw my last video, I did a preview. Uh, it wasn't that long, I just want to keep stuff not too long but not too short. But yeah, I've read something somewhere saying that Ben Foster and Myhill might be able to start. But I'm taking that into consideration for today's lineup, just in case I'm wrong. But... In my opinion, I think that we should give Alex Palmer a going goal. See if he's any good, you know. How are we going to know if he's any good if no one gives him a chance? You know, kind of like Sam Field. He's played well when he's been on. And Leco, but I feel sorry for him because, obviously, Tony Pulis, he doesn't really like youngsters. Well, as the media say. Left back, I'll go Kieran Gibbs. You know, natural position. Good signing from Arsenal. Bit of weird how they wanted 12 and then we got him for like 6 or something. But that was after a deal fell through elsewhere. So perhaps Arsenal needed to get rid of him and settle with that money. Um, centre-backs, I'd go with Hagazi and Evans. You know, two solid centre-backs. Hagazi just coming in as well from some Saudi Arabian league. But, you know, you got to take that into consideration and say that he's done well. He's made a few mistakes along the way, but who doesn't? That's just part of his learning. You know, Prem's a lot different to the league he was in before, but overall, he's settled in well. What do you think of the new signings then, guys? Like, leave it in the comments. Who do you think our best signing has been, uh, been so far? Krakowiak, Gibbs, there's Rodriguez. There's quite a few, to be fair. And then, right back, I'd probably go Alan Neon. I dropped Dawson because I thought he was awful last game and Neon's just a tank. Oh, I love Neon. You don't understand. Uh, centre defensive mid, I'd go with Krakowiak. I'd only have one centre defensive mid in this game. But what I want and Pulis does is two completely different things. You know he's going to go there and park the bus. So, yeah. Um, left mid, I'd probably go Chris Brunt. You know, he's got a good left foot on him. He can whip a ball in for set pieces. Right mid, I'd have Matty Phillips. Yeah, another good player who, if you give the ball, he'll run at defenders when he's allowed to because I think Pulis kind of tells him not to. Well, it sounds weird, but you'll you'll see. You, you, well, you know what I mean if you're an Albion fan. Like, we'll run him forward and we'll just delay everything. It's frustrating, to be fair. Centre attacking mid, I'd probably go with Chadley because you can't put Chadley out on the wing. He's not really got any pace. And I feel like him behind the strikers would benefit him a lot more. He'd be able to play passes through, you know, get shots off on goal. That's where we need him. We don't need him on the wing. I know Brunt hasn't got a lot of pace, but still. Um, I'm just putting Brunt in there for set pieces and stuff like that. Two strikers that have Rondon and Rodriguez. Now, you know, like, I feel sorry for Rondon in all fairness, you know. he's been He's really isolated on his own up front. You know, and I feel like if we put Rodriguez next to him, it would give him a bit of support. So when he does win a header, he, he hasn't got to hold off five defenders around him or something like that. He can flick it onto Rodriguez, they can play nice one-twos. And by the time they've done that, hopefully more of the team will advance into the box. But yeah, that's my starting eleven for this weekend, guys. Give me your starting elevens in the comments. I'm going to leave all social media links below, Instagram, Facebook, and yeah... I hope you enjoyed the video guys, see you later.